Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the importance of the forests. The world is changing. We all know that the world is getting warmer. The polar ice is melting because of the global warming. And if all the polar ice melts down, what will happen? The sea level will rise and lots of land would go under the sea. Can it be prevented? And how can it be prevented? Yes, it can be prevented and one of the simpler way to do it is by stopping cutting down of trees and the deforestation. You know, people blame cutting down of trees and the deforestation also for the floods, drought which are becoming more and more common with the passing days. So we all know Cutting down of trees, that is the deforestation, is making the world a worse place to live in. Thus, the forest influences our life very much. As we know, the forest is the home of many animals. It is not only a must for animals to live in, but it is also equally important for us. How? Let us see. The forest also influences the climatic conditions. The trees in the forest release water vapor in the transpiration which keeps the air cool. That is why the air was hot in the story once the trees were cut down by Sundari the witch living in the forest as there were no trees to cool it down. Apart from keeping the trees cool, the water vapour released in transpiration helps in cloud formation. Hence, we can say the trees or the forest influences the water cycle and help in bringing rain. Hence, the deforestation would decrease the rainfall and even may cause drought. The trees can purify the air. It takes in the carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis process and gives out oxygen in return. The carbon dioxide is the main greenhouse gas causing the global warming. The forest not only gives us oxygen to live, it can also help in stopping the global warming by decreasing the amount of greenhouse gas which is the carbon dioxide in the air. As we saw in the forest, the branches of tall trees together form a roof over the forest floor. The uppermost layer of the branches in the trees which serves as a dense roof over the ground is called the canopy. Beneath the canopy, the layer where the trees branch off from tree trunk is called the crown where low sunlight is available is called the understory. The closed canopy and the many layers of vegetation slows down the speed of falling raindrop. Hence, the rain cannot wash away the soil. Besides this, the roots of the tree hold the soil particles together and stop the soil from washing away, which means the trees prevent the soil erosion. So when the people cut down forests for the cultivation, the soil erosion agents like the water, air cause soil erosion. And when the vegetation layer which is the protection layer of the plants is gone, even the rain washes away the top soil. As the topsoil gets eroded, the fertility of the soil decreases. So the cutting down of forests also decreases the fertility of the soil. The roots of the tree also help the rainwater to seep underground. When the trees are cut down, lesser rainwater seeps underground. The water table doesn't get replenished and hence the water table depletes. 
On the other hand, if it rains too much, the rain washes away the soil. Not much water seeps underground. Hence, most of the rain water goes into the river, lake, etc. carrying the eroded soil. So, the deforestation is not only changing the climate, it is causing many catastrophes like the flood, drought, just what we saw in the story. We have to save the forest to save our world and ourselves. Besides, all this forest gift us many things. We get timber from more than thousand species of trees like sal, teak, oak, rosewood, pine, etc. Timbers are used in making furniture, paper, cardboard, plywood, etc. We get gum, resin, latex, etc. from the forest trees. The rubber is obtained from the latex of the rubber tree. The resins are used in the paints, varnishes, adhesives, etc. These substances come out of the bark of the trees as liquid. Plants such as neem, eucalyptus, amla or the Indian gooseberry, cassava are used in making Ayurvedic medicines. The chinchona tree provides us medicine for the malaria. Quinine that we get from chinchona is used in making malaria medicine. Many plants found in the forest have high medicinal value. The rainforest alone has very large number of such plants like the cocoa plant extract used to treat fever, anxiety, kidney stone etc. Mimosa is used to treat sinus infections. Few of these medicinal plants are rare so losing forest means lo losing this precious plants. Sandalwood, pine, eucalyptus oil are used in making soaps, cosmetics, incense and the essence for the flavor and the smell in the bakeries and the confectionaries. Many people living in or near the forest get honey, wax, wood from the forest to earn their livelihood. The deforestation also means the destruction of habitat of many animals. Many animals have become endangered because of the deforestation. For example, tiger, mountain gorilla, giant panda and many others. We need to save the forest to save these amazing animals so that they don't get extinct. So we see we have to save the forest at any cost. People should be made aware of the importance of the forest. Forest shouldn't be cleared for agriculture land as it would lead to soil erosion. People need wood, fodder etc. from the tree. So the people should be encouraged to cut branches, twigs etc. instead of cutting down the whole tree unnecessarily. You know, the government of many countries have made strict rules to prevent unnecessary logging or the cutting down of trees. The overgrazing of animal also cause harm to the forest as the cattle may eat or trample the growing plants. This should be avoided. So, it is on us to save this world, our planet and treasure it by saving the forest or the jungles. That is all for now. Bye bye children.